Testing, 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 testing. Hello. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Excellent. How are you? I'm oh, good. Get ready because I can feel my arms are going to be. You're going to hit. A going. Few? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be hitting a few, hitting a few balls, and you might be in the way. Usually. Yeah. Welcome to the 2019 APTA Nationals presented locally by PNC with thanks also to the APTA's national official sponsors Viking and Uline. We are live on the Fox Chapel Racquet Club in Pittsburgh on the APTA network presented by Enet Live. I'm Jerry Viant along with Lauren Mendel bringing you the women's round of 16 between the number 16 pickup team of Anna Brazova and Amy Shea against the number four seeds, Jade Curtis and Vicky Stock Lossifer. And Lauren, the excitement. Let's. Well, I mean, I've been waiting for this match ever since the draw came out. I'm so excited. This is an incredible round of 16 match. Um, Jade Curtis and Vicky Stock Lossifer, who you see in the bo their bios in the bottom here, um, they're currently the number four team in the country. They won the Boston Open. They've basically won everything they've played together this year, which is only a few tournaments. Um, and they're playing, uh, Curtis is a rackets professional at the Round Hill Club in Connecticut, and Stock Lassifa, um, she's mostly a stay-at-home mom now. But, but Stock Lassifa won two national titles with her opponent, Ana Brazova who also won another one with Liz Cruz, and she is a rackets professional at the Indian Trail Club in New Jersey. And Amy Shea has won everything but nationals a million times. And her partner, who she always plays with, Cynthia Dardis, is having rotator cup surgery. Cynthia, if you're watching, we hope you recover quickly. And so she and Brazova are, and she's a, the, a pro at the um, Woodway Club in Connecticut. And she and Brazova just decided to play together. They practiced for the first time together a couple weeks ago. And it's a hell of a pickup team. Yeah, that's, that's why it is a pickup team. And uh, condolences too, because I know Cynthia will be watching and I hope that she texts us. Um, we all feel for her, but I know she's happy that, that Amy is able to play. And Lauren, let's just go around. Jade Curtis is on the right-hand side with her left hand in her pocket. An explosive, quick, huge backhand. The middle will not be a safe spot for her. Her partner, Vicky stock Lossifer, smooth, calm. She'll be the north on the compass. She'll move the ball around seamlessly. Uh, down the other end in the red jacket, Anna Brazova, who has not been playing a lot. Uh, she was been out for a couple of seasons. She played, she's playing league matches and she played at the Short Hills uh, Invitational and two weeks ago. she's on the court ago. every day. She, she is teaches. a teaching professional. She is on the court every day and she is drilling with Mike Gillespie. So it's not like she hasn't played, but it's the tournament toughness, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, she is a phenomenal volleyer. So she will be able to handle the pace of Jade's backhand. Actually, I'm looking forward for that matchup. And of course, we've got Amy Shea 
on the right hand side there are serving uh, laser like ground strokes as well as overhead she has a very different overhead from a lot of the women players and she'll be able to do some damage so for me i mean i can't wait for this match to get started to see what the tactics are going to be and to see how they match up and and also the underlying it's very weird as you and i both know when you're playing against a former partner and and both Anna Brazova and Vicky Stock Lossifer won together two national championships. And I believe this is the first time they've been on the court against each other. So that's going to, it's a different feel. That's a very different emotional battle that you've got to play with within. And you can't just slough it off. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. It'll be interesting to see how Jade handles it. She's got the least experience out of the four players on the court but I mean what a tremendous season they've had like you said won every time every match they've played uh, and Amy Shea looking for that national title is this the draw is this the the time for her I also think in addition to Shea's drives and her excellent volleys and her excellent overhead I think maybe the most important shot she's going to have in this match is her lob. She lobs so high and so deep and with such precision that any court positioning problems that Curtis and Stoklasova have at the net are going to be exposed. Right. And her footwork. I mean, she is fleet of foot. So just taking their warm-up serves, and we have Mark Bliss, who is our umpire. He's up on the chair, and he will be calling the score. There he is, in his winter woolies. Yeah. Temperature is dropping. I'm not sure what the temperature is right now, but I'll find out for you. But he is a seasoned umpire. We have a score update. Uh, Roxy, Anika, and Liz Barrett. Uh, Laura Barrett are up 635 love against well, let me bring that one up against um, Nutting and Williamson who you I believe you streamed their match before right we did we did they had the only upset of the day today where they beat Hallie Bobman and Marina Olmuller and they followed it up with a win over Chelsea Nassau and, Alis and Alexis Prusis and uh, Van Starnberg and Hannish won the first set 6-2, and it's four games all in their match against Allison Morgan and Lisa Rudloff. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't know if they made the toss yet. Did you see that? I did not. And you can see the, one of the other matches on the second court over there. We'll get an update. That is Cruz Nicolescu, Manly Ruoff. I believe they're in the second set. Cruz Nicolescu got the first set. So Lauren, I don't remember a tougher women's nationals drawer. I mean, I look at this drawer, I look at these seeds and any of these top 16, any of the top eight, I thought he was going to introduce any of the top eight. I mean, I would, no, any, some of those 16, too. Yeah, I mean, there's been some, been some yep. brutal yep. early round matches. One more score. Um, Delmonico Gebbia are up 3-2 in the first set against uh, Miriam Warner and Marcella Redesno. Redesno. And I expect to see a lot of this, what we're seeing right now, Amy Shea and Anna Brazova is going to serve first. And as they're a new team, they're going to have a lot of conversation. Here we go, Lauren. And I would expect from all four players, these first few games, long measured points. You're not going to see the wham. I don't expect to see wham bam trying to go for big winners. I mean, it's not stock loss of a style, nor is it Brazova's style. They're going to hit high percentage shots and 
be looking to set up their partners. And Amy Shea there gets Very the well. nick, which she does quite frequently because she aims for it. Yep. Well, that was two quick points. That was. But measured, yeah. measured. Watch the height over the net. Watch the speed of the returns. Good spot. And you can see Brazova will just stay perfectly still. That's Brazova on the right in the black vest. One of the best women volleyers on the tour. All four of these women are terrific volleyers. This is what I'll be looking to see how Jade look? Curtis handles the screens. I mean, she's made tremendous strides in every aspect of her game. And again, it, this conversation is going to happen all throughout, I think every single point they get, they're going to be calling every single ball. This is Brazova, Shea in particular, because they're just not used to each other. They're not sure who's going to hit what ball. So, Curtis has gotten very comfortable with her screens. She's very comfortable lobbing out of the screens, and now she's really working on driving out of the screens. There it is, the drive off the screen. errors from Stuklasov in that game. Probably as many as you could see in a whole set. After winning the first set, Cruz Nicolescu are down 2-1 in the second set to Manly Rua. That's a battle out there, that match. Yeah. All right, a lot of deep breaths here. Jay Curtis is going to serve first. Oh, here's the temperature. Thank you, Kelly Diesel, our producer. 38, and it is cloudy. So in the world of paddle, this is absolutely picture-perfect conditions. Yeah, the players were all talking about what fantastic conditions it is. No wind, no sun, not too cold, not too warm. I was going to start singing, no wind, Go ahead. no rain. What's that <laughs> You're on a rhythm. I won't be joining you. <laughs> Please help me. All right. All right, so let's see if we can see what the game plan is. Pretty obvious right off the bat, they're going to give the balls to Anna Brazova. And the thing when you play Anna Brazova, she is going to hit high, deep lobs. She's not going to panic, and she will be waiting for a ball that she can blitz, blitz on, like on and there you go. Her offensive play. Curtis handled play. that well because it was a very good lob. Uh, yeah, Anna's Brazova's offensive play out of that do side is to blitz on those high lobs or take a ball that's hit just a little too hard off the screen and spike it. So she's going to hurt you in those two areas more than she's going to hurt you off the deck. And Amy Shea, who's on the ad side, also hits very high lobs. I mean, your neck could go into spasm if they string this, a couple of uh, lobs together. Both of them are very comfortable and accurate with their lobs. And what's so great about that, them being so high and deep, is that the overheads, you can't do anything with the overheads. You can't create any offense with the overheads from so far back. 
Never a good thing to hit a short ball on the service line to Amy Shea. <coughs> she's so, waiting. Yeah, and she's so accurate, and she hits a heavy, heavy ball. All right, 30 all. Nice service motion there by Jade Curtis. She has worked on her serve. Another score update. Prop and Spiz are up two games to love. Was that football? I can't hear the umpire. the move they, Jade Curtis really she holds the ball so long goes right at him and then moves in close behind so Amy Shea serving love 30 yeah I thought he said foot fault Jade Curtis is very quick and the ball comes off for her paddle in a very explosive way she looks little out there and young but she's a very accomplished player. All right, so Amy Shea is down, love 40. And I believe two foot fault called. Stock Lossifer just moves that ball around so smoothly. was long so Curtis stuck loss of her get the break and are up 2-1 first set we're in the women's round of 16 of a servant. That's a ball. You don't want to give Amy Shea a hard backside screen because she loves to drive that backhand.
So far, Brazova Shea's court positioning they don't is look solid. Like a new team. They do not look like a new team. They're calling every ball, they're shifting. That is a wonderful lob by Stock Lossover there. And again, you see Jake Curtis picking her spots and moving Good forward. All two, two results in uh, round of 16 play. Baron and Nika won their match, and Van Starnberg and Hannish won their match. Delmonico Gabi are up 4-3 against Marion Warner and Marcella Redesno, and Ruoff and Manley are up 3-2 in their second set against uh, Liz Cruz and Gabby Nicolescu, who won the first set. That nice high lob by Amy Shea, followed by another one by Anna Brazova. That combination of lobs. They're deep. They're pulling their opponent's feet out of the service box. They're just waiting for a short ball. 30, 15. Amy got it. <laughs> That's her shot. She'll make that nine out of ten times. Okay, 35. Vicky Stock loss of a serving. Forty fifteen. And just early in this set, Amy Shea looks a little bit out of sorts. Just a little bit. I think having two foot faults called on you is unsettling. over just forcing it just a little bit pushes that lob long and Curtis stock loss of a go up 3-1 in the first set and we've got another update uh, Sakura lines Took the first set over Spiz and Prop. Nice shot. Oh, nice move by Curtis. She earned herself that up. point. And you hear the deflect of the volley. I mean, you can really hear the speed of Curtis's drive, but it's a quiet volley that Prozova sends back. Gets the nick. those high percentage shots of stock loss of her. She's not going to be rushed. She's just picking that spot right over Amy Shea's left shoulder. Just testing the teamwork. It's a smart place to put the ball. Zova likes to go into that nick, doesn't she? She's done it very successfully so far. Right, so interesting now they've started playing Stock Lossa for a little more. Because just 
just as I say that, go, they go back to Curtis. But see, they were questioning the call. He's saying it was right under him. He can't see it. Quickly, Brazova closes the net. See how Amy Shea lets that ball drop low when she hits the overhead. So it's a very, it's got a lot of backspin on it. She's she's able to be accurate, but if it hits the screen, it stays low. Not put that ball there. Oh, go. Got out of trouble, and Jade Curtis got out of trouble. Once again, that's the play. I think they're Brazova, Shea are smart to take uh, Curtis out of the play. I got it. Yeah, right, right now, because she's hurting them. See, Stoglosova is going to lob down the line to try to set up Jade Curtis. So a lot of times that middle shot is the safe go-to's, but for Jade Curtis, that is right in her wheelhouse. A bit like you, Lauren. Mm. She does a better job of coming in behind it, <laughs> finishing the point. Um, it was 40 love for Brazova. It looked like an easy, easy service game, and now it's deuce. Oh, oh, she got what it. A get. Oh, what a get. I'm telling you, I was Replay. on the court with Jay Curtis the other day, and she was talking about how you know she wants to be able to do different things out of the screens and drive it whatever she's working right. hard on improving and she's just doing a terrific job of getting better at all aspects of the game of stock Lossifer. She should have let that one go through. Jade Curtis was there. I think stock Lossifer looked and decided it wasn't coming out far enough. I think she made that last second calculation, but back to Deuce. That's just an awesome deep lob down the line. You see that sets up Curtis. Okay, you see the improvement in Curtis's screenplay. So comfortable to be in there. Yeah. They're both, I mean, they're very smooth. They're not panicked. So, break point here for Stock Lossifer and Curtis as that sneaky little cross court return to serve from Stock Lossifer. Hey, 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 hey. 
and she comes. <laughs> a swinging backhand volley from the service line, and it takes him to a 4-1 lead in the first set. I've oh, got the replay here. Uh, that's right, goes into the neck and stays with it. Yes, it was the <laughs> leg action. Body English there. That was yeah. what did it. <laughs> well done. All right, so Brazova Shea, deep in conversation here. Yeah, I think they should be not hitting short balls down the middle. Not that they're doing it on purpose, but that's really what's getting them hurt. So Jay Curtis is serving 4-1. And I think Brazova's got to bring a little spark here. I expect to see a little more of. They get those lobs up high. Brazova's going to have to sneak in. She's going to have to do something to shake it up. As they're not getting any short balls to set up Amy Shea's forehand. So Amy can expose any weaknesses in the net team. So they're, they're going to have to find it off of the lobs. Brazova's looking to go in. So you're just seeing attack and counterattack. Both teams are waiting for something to work with. Love 15. Tough to want to point out here. Yeah, well, they just there's nothing short. Right. There's nothing fast. Just they're not giving anything away. Fifteen all. And Lemry Roybach just won, so they are through. 40, it's the 15. placement of Curtis Dock loss of his overheads. They're deep. They're just forcing Brazova right now to lob. Oops. 40, 30. I've seen that a few couldn't. times today. Not in this match, but it's so easy to overhit that soft volley when you're moving forward and you try to do too much and you take an easy volley and it becomes a disaster. And you're looking for a backhand first yeah. volley, and you're coming up with a floater. This. Curtis didn't see her. Didn't see Brazova until it was too late. All right. Juice.
Advantage, Curtis Stoklosova. Jerry, have you ever seen Vicky Stoklosova look rushed on a paddle court? No. Never, right? No. And she misses the ball occasionally. She's human, but she never does it looking rushed or out of position. No, I mean, everything is relaxed, and it's at her pace. She plays percentage paddle. Game, Curtis. Still and close they are in total control right set. now. And Brazova and Shea, I think Brazova's got to go in behind her return of serve. I mean, she's got to create she's the spot. Make because something happen. Yeah, Amy Shea's just not getting anything to look at. Um, and Brazova's fast. I mean, she should take some risks. They've got to, they've got to totally change it up because it is all Curtis stock losses for speed of play. But right now, Amy Shea's got to take care of her service game. She's got to think about her football. And now they've got to figure out where they're going to put the ball in the back court. Not let Jade Curtis hit her routine play, of rifling her backhand and then coming in behind it and closing it off with some volleys. Good spot. She's got her. Love 15. It was a great spot, but the overhead that they hit was too hard and too high in the screen, and it gave Jade Curtis a nice high ball just to roll straight at her shoulder. the same spot it's just too high in the screen and Jay Curtis is Love doing 30. a really good job she's got her paddle set early and it's actually at shoulder high so she's got good clearance over the net Fifteen thirty. Just see stock loss of it just moving those lobs around, mixing up the different speeds of her drives, and they get the let cord. It's all Curtis stock loss of his way. 15 40. And set points. Another one. Wow. Well, that 30, one 40. Long. Oh, I think they called it out. <clears throat> yep. All right, one set point saved. That's good. That's good. 30, oh, that, that was long. All right, back to Deuce. I tell you, Advantage. Curtis is really Curtis. finding so their armpits, up. and that's a tough volley, that right armpit up high. I mean, look, if you're consistently getting Amy Shea and Anna Brazova to miss volleys, you're doing something very well.
Oh, too good. Game too good. First set, Curtis. So still that's close first to the ball. set, six, six one, one, and it was all Curtis Stock loss of his speed of play. And I think you know Brazova and Shea have got to have a big conversation about getting this spark going. They've got to somehow get Brazova moving. I would. I would want her to blitz on the return of serve or lob and blitz, and Amy can just start firing. But we'll see what happens minutes, in the ladies. second set. We'll be right back in just a moment after these messages right uh -huh. here on the APTA yeah. network presented by Enet Live. I play to be a role model in my neighborhood. I play to be part of the team. I play to be stronger than my brothers. I play to channel my energy in a positive way. I play because the field is where I shine. I play to be a part of something bigger than myself. I play to stay healthy. I play to feel powerful. I play to win. Welcome back to the 2019 APTA National Championships. Yeah, sure. We are in the We're round waiting. of 16 the, uh, the between so Jade Curtis the and Vicky Stock Lossifer and Anna yeah. Brazova and Amy Whatever Shea. And it was all Curtis Stock Lossifer, Lauren. Uh, I mean, no pace. They're giving them absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're giving them nothing. And then when they get an opportunity, Jade Curtis has been able to take that backhand or the, the forehand that comes out of the screen yep. and, and just win the point. And um, as we were discussing over the break, we think that Brazova and Shea are going to have to create something and that they can do that by Brazova blitzing off her return and off Shea's deep lobs. They're going to have to take some chances and Brazova is going to have to trust that Shea will cover her when she goes in. Second and set. Uh, like they ready. haven't had a lot of time on the court, right. but they've got to they've got to change, or it'll be Curtis Doc Lossifer. I mean, Curtis Doc Lossifer have just done a great job. That's the first combination of drives that Amy Shea has Love gotten an error, and normally that's a huge part of her game. She's I feel like she's like calibrated her speed and she's just not getting enough short balls to really go after to get the fire going. And that's credit to Curtis Dot Locks of his depth and placement. Okay, Brazova's got a great opportunity here. Jade Curtis is not quite shifting over to the left, and Brazova's got an opportunity. If she can hang that lob down the singles line, all. she'll move Curtis all the way back. And Curtis has got good footwork, but that's a lot of court for her to cover. Delmonico Gebbia are up 6-5 against uh, Warner and Redesno. And Andrekova Zabori 30 all. are up against uh, Gio Mollenveld, 5-4. There we go, there's the spark, and that was a good serve down the tee by Jade Curtis, but it was 30, a little 40. shorter, and Brazova pounced. So 30-40, I believe. So here's a break point, and this would do a lot to get Brazova Shea's confidence up, if they can win this game. There. Oh. And there you go. It just, cre it just creates a different they look. One yeah. game to love, second set. Now, Brazova Shea won the first game of the first set, too.
but it's changing the look, it's changing the, the speed of play, it's getting that spark going. They just, Brzovice just seem flat to me, and it's not so much because of their play, it's because of what's happening from Curtis Stock loss over there. Just not, it's, it's just a slow, purposeful pace, depth, and accuracy. So you, you're not gonna, they're not going to beat them playing that way. Brazova has got to keep blitzing like she just did on that first game. And now when they're at net is where are they going to win points from? Where's the spot? Where's the combination? Stoklosova does such a great job of taking the speed and absorbing it and blocking, like that block lob right there. Gets the ball back quickly, takes away time. Just a change of pace from Stock Losfer, right? And she is willing to hit another ball until the right one appears. She's just enjoying the whole process of building the point. Stock Losfer, and then in comes there Curtis. Is, yep. Two handed backhand. Delmonico Gabbio won the first set. <laughs> Anna Brzova serving. And having a lengthy conversation about where to put the ball. Whoop, nice volley. 15 all. And you see Jade Curtis is constantly moving her feet, constantly keeping that energy up. Nice move by Stock Lossifer. I'm wondering What's that? why she hasn't come in behind Curtis. 15, 30. And she just floats in there, yeah. right? Yeah. What's that song you'll be singing now? Floats like a butterfly, stings <laughs> like a bee? Well, it's Muhammad Ali. Yes. But yes, she does. She glides. Oh! Ah, oh, that is vintage stock loss of her. She just moves that ball around. 15, she's 40. not going to hit you off the court, no. but she's going to kill you with her accuracy. She sees the court so well. 540. Brazova is picking up the pace on her overheads. And like you said before, Lauren, Jade Curtis has really improved her screenplay. And that was trouble. Again, it's that Jane hard Curtis overhead Brozova into the screen. High. All, second set. The ball's now traveling towards the net. And it just set up stock loss of her, and she just uses that pace. So one all, second set. Curtis stock loss of her got the first set. I think in like forty minutes. Forty minutes. I mean, it was six-one, but it wasn't like boom, boom, boom. They had a lot of great points. 
There was no boom, boom, boom. No boom, boom, boom. No. Amy. It was smooth. Is there yes. A yes. That's why it took 40 minutes and not 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Vicky Stock Lossa for serving. Amy Shea is just not firing. Nice touch by Stock Lasseva. 15 love. And just like the rest of Stock Lasseva's game, her serve has no pace, but it's placed, it's deep, it allows her to get into net. Nothing about her game is rushed. Yeah, see, normally she would take that ball from the middle and rifle it down the line at Jade Curtis's right hip. And she's just not willing to take the swing right now. That's a smart overhead by Jade Curtis. She changed the love. pace and hit the overhead down because she heard the call that Brazova was coming in on the <coughs> blitz. But you know that almost worked out well. I mean, Amy Shea had a good had a good look at the uh, at that ball. Right. Well, when you when he, she goes in and blitzes, she could either win the point by getting that quick volley, or at the very least, she gets a hard ball that Amy 30, can 15. attack. So that's why I, I think Brazova's got to keep coming in. Just take a chance. Oof. The minor upset Thirty brewing. all. Andrekova Zabori won the first set from Guillaume Mollenveld. Mm-hmm. Beautiful serve down the tee. Look at the footwork of Jade Curtis on these uh, overheads. That glass was funny. It looks like, you know, she thinks the ball's going out. She doesn't. She's just very smoothly and casually going back to get it. Right, she goes, that's a good point, Lauren, because she goes back with the ball, hoping that it's going to land long, but if it doesn't, no big deal. She's right there. And Brazova and Shea testing the screenplay. That's a good play. And 30, they were able 40. to do that because they were given a couple of short lobs in a row, and we haven't seen mm -hmm. too much of that either. I mean, there's just no way that they're able to generate offense because of what Curtis Stock Lossifer is doing to them. There's that forehand that she Game places Brazil on a dime. Shea. They lead two games to one, I'm second set. I'm pretty sure that might be the first one I've seen her hit Curtis down the line Sosova at Curtis's. Curtis won the first set, six games to one. All right, so they're up 2-1. Viking Athletics is a premier brand and the undisputed leader in platform tennis. The Viking is platform tennis. The official paddle of the APTA, engineered to provide superior feel and the perfect balance of power, control, spin, and durability. The Viking paddle is the official paddle of the APTA, of the APTA Nationals and President's Cup, and of the Grand Prix Tour. And we just got another update, uh, another round of 16, Prop and Spears, Leo Sakura just split sets. Amy Shea serving. Fifteen, love. Few errors creeping into the 
Curtis game, where she was really deadly in the first set. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. You see Curtis still jumping, still bouncing, stays energized. It all comes from the ground up. I mean, she's just like a little fire. All. And she volleys so well when the balls are below the below the height of the net. Very tough to volley from down there, but she does it very, very well. Ooh. 30, 40. Cruz Nicolescu just got through a very close two-set match against uh, Manley and Ruoff. They were way down in the second set. And they're going after Curtis's screens with pace and spin, and Curtis is handling it beautifully. I mean, this is, Lauren, this is like classic, what else you got? What else you got? They're just gonna hang in there and it's all it's all offense. This is not defense. These lobs are well placed and they're just waiting for a short ball or too hard of a shot. It's one of the first backhands that she's missed. Deuce. She's missed a couple of this set. More so far this set than she missed in the whole set last set. So we're at Deuce. Amy Shea serving. Great wide serve there. Advantage for Zova, Shea. And you can see Shea's doing a good job of keeping her feet behind this, the uh, baseline now, having been called for foot faults. That's a shovel shot by Stock Loss of a very creative. I am really so impressed with Curtis Stock Loss of her really neutralizing the weapons of both Brazova and Shea. And yet Brazova and Shea have a point to go up 3-1 here. Yeah, but you know, just the way the points are flowing. Yeah. You know, normally at this point of the match, we would be raving about how many of those slash overheads that Amy Shea has hit, d you know, low and one points off of. That was there. a great nick, <laughs> yep. Game Brazova, Shea, they lead three games to one, second set. It's a slow little turn, not, not dramatic, but like you said, Jay Curtis has made a couple of little errors in here. And there's a lot of tactical conversations happening. All right, Jay Curtis serving one three. Well, and I really, if there is, has been a weakness, ha has been Jay's serve sometimes. She has worked hard. Not in this match. This match has been rock solid, but yes. 
refused to struggle with it a little. There's that new team hesitation down the middle. Oh, nice cover by Stuck Lossifer. And she just holds that ball so well. So right pace, the right placement. So that was fast feet, slow hands. All. So easy to get so excited like that and then yes. smack it out wide. And that's why people miss those floating high volleys coming in because they get excited and slap at it. Not Vicky. Those little adjustment steps. Jade. Good move by Brazil over there. of shorter lobs coming out of that due side. <laughs> it's smooth, right? She just waits and waits 30, and waits. 15. She worked hard to get that opportunity there. They're pounding her in that corner. Okay, 35. That, that lob down the line is there for Brazova. She's just not seeing it. Right, she keeps putting the ball through the middle. She could go straight down the line here and pull Curtis back and left and open up the court a little bit more. Nice overhead. 30 all. In between points is Amy Shea's speed of play. So Curtis has got to stay patient. Right, I feel like they're testing her right now. They are. <laughs> Whoop. Woo. Scary, scary moments there. That's the move, and she just missed it. Had a paddle head down. She the right 40, move. 30. Brazova just needed to come in. It's so important to keep your hands up and keep the paddle above your hands. And she's practicing the right move for next time. <laughs> Big point right here.
You want to circle it on the court? <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I'm pointing again. I just think Brazova's got an opportunity there when she's got the ball down the middle and Jade Curtis is staying in the yeah. middle of the court. Zabori and Andrei. Right now. Right now. So the ball yeah. just keeps lobbing cool. through the middle of the court. That was a great lob. Zabori and Andrakova are up three love in the second set. Deuce. touch advantage Curtis Stoklosova it's only 3-1 in the second it's already longer than the first set in terms of time yeah Go. Just long. Just long. Game, Curtis, Stoklosova. That was a Brazil big hold. Lead, that was a two, very important game. And just while we have this change of ends, I want to give a Stoklosova shout out to our directors, to John Scott and Kerry Diesel, doing a fabulous job all day, along with our field producers, Austin Baker and Nicole Levick from ENET Live. And we will be back on tomorrow morning at 8.30 constantly streaming on two courts all the way through and we have a lot of good paddle here oh, tonight in this match we do but we will be on all day saturday right through to the men's quarterfinals and then back on sunday morning with the men's semis women's final and the men's final so we've got a full weekend and we thank our team from enet live giving us all these great camera angles and Time. All right, Anna Brazova serving. Uh, yes, three two. Up three two in the second set. Take a look at Jade Curtis. She is ready to pounce. She's picked up the pace. I think that hold of serve gave her a lot of confidence. Yeah, it would be definitely a different feeling if they had lost that serve. Yeah, 4 1 is very different than 3 2. See Amy Shea is just going constantly after the neck on those shorter lobs. Fifteen love. So you're gonna commit right away when you think that ball's going into the neck. You've got to take that, run up that side well, screen. Yeah, if well. it hits the nick and goes right, the other way, you the let your partner have it. No. Oh. Wide. It's an unusual error. Yeah. 15 all. Kind of forced that.
That uh, is a nice change of placement on the return of serve. 15-30. That's and really getting Shea at her own game. And you saw Stock Loss of a moving in behind it as well. So there's double pressure on that. Prop and Spitzer up for love in the third. Another one. Thirty all. Like all of these points now became uh, so precious. Nice deep serve down the tee 40, by Brazova. And a point for a 4 2 lead in the second set. Game Brazova Shea, so they lead four games to two, second set. So was that three, four Knicks in that game? Yeah. Well, I tell you, this, uh, this is a challenge for both teams, right? I mean, I, I bet they're all four players are loving this match. This is a kind of match where you want your opponents to play their best. So you, um, I, I know you don't want uh, like a bunch of quick errors, even though you want to win. Bo yeah. All four players are totally engaged in this because it is a, a game of tactics, execution, but concentration. They are totally involved in every single point. So that's a great angle to see Amy Shea's overhead coming straight into the nick of Jade Curtis. And they are just going after her and getting some errors. They are not on the first shot, not on the second Love shot. 15. But on the fifth, sixth, seventh, they're getting it to come out of the nick funny or come and out of the wires funny. Yeah. And they're wearing her down a little yep. bit. And part of it, too, the lobs aren't as deep as we saw before, so that's allowing them to step in and with shorter balls and be a little bit more accurate. And that's a nice rip by Amy Shea. And they are giving Jade Curtis every ball. <laughs> She's got a lucky hop over the net there. Ball. Andreka Visabori won. They beat Guillaume Allenveld. So they are through to the women's quarterfinals. Thirty fifteen. Hmm. 
Rare. Yeah. Rare 30 all. Nice angle here on the to show the little side steps that both Stop Lossifer and Curtis take on their overheads to here get back. I mean, they're sideways, uh. and she lined up that nick and got it, but it's those small 40, little side 30. steps, her paddle set. It's just about finding that balance between being consistent but being aggressive. And Brazova and Shay are trying to keep that spark going. Those high, deep lobs. I, I think Brazova should put pressure on them again and start sneaking in behind some of those lobs. She did in the last point, but then the ball went in the nick and that right. was the end of that. But yes. Oh. Volley, volley yeah. air. Yeah, I mean, just keep the pressure on and change the look a little bit. So Curtis is making a few more errors, and I think they, you know, should try to keep her unsettled. Don't let her get her routine back. And Brazova's got the spark by coming Brazova in behind that return of serve. Point for 5 2. Mm hmm. And because of that spark from Brazova, you see Amy Shea starting to hit her returns with Good. more pace. That's it. Come on in. I keep going. Yeah. It might be a function of Brazova not trusting 100% that Amy's going to cover her, no matter what. That was a Advantage surprising volley She doesn't miss many like that. Yeah, but again, it was, like we said before, it's that height. It's at the armpit yeah. height. We call it like a scout shot. And you, you know, kind of, she just flinched. swung too soon. She flinched. There you go. Oh, God, was that well well controlled by Stoklasova under the pressure of Brazova coming in behind that shot. Unbelievable. Her hands are great, aren't Unbelievable. they? Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, back to Deuce. And smartly, Stoklasova is holding up Jade Curtis right now. Because they, they, this is really a very big point in the match. Deuce with Brazova Shea just... A little bit of an edge on the momentum. Wow. Ha. There's the wheels of Jade Curtis. Yep. And they're going to keep going after Jade in that corner. Great play. Huh? That shows me a lot. It's a lot of resolve in Jade Curtis. Because she kind of feel like she's on the edge, right? She could, she, she made some errors, she backed down just a bit, but now she's sparked forward again. I'd, I'd not give her a ball if I was playing against her now. I'd take her out of the play. Because if she gets that hot hand again, yeah, and it's not like she's making so many errors, but she was making so few to begin with. Exactly. A few have creeped into her game. Crept, creeped. What is it? Are we creeping or are we crepping? Ooh, and there's another one. Crept. Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
in this dark glossary, you can see her actually laughing. A woman, I'd like to run out there right now and take her heart rate. Mm, yeah, it's what, 30. 40? <laughs> Not even. It's just a game of paddle, Jerry. Nothing to get excited about. Oh, Amy Shea's showing some little finesse out there on that short ball. I just love the footwork of Jade Curtis on the overheads. These tiny little adjustment steps. She gets right back behind the ball. So when she hits the overhead, she's going forward. This is another one of those moments in the match. Deuce. 4-2. This has been a long game, too. Yep. Oh. oh. That's a mental error. Yeah. Advantage for Zova Shea. So a point for 5-2 in the second set. Deuce. To Monaco Gebbia. Wait. Won their match against Miriam Warner and Marcella Redesno. Nice deep lob by Amy Shea. Oh. That's a wonderful spot for Advantage Curtis to put Curtis that backhand. Got the reaching error from Amy Shea. Switch it net there with stock loss of hitting the overheads. Jade Curtis just slid it over to the other side. I feel like Brazova's got to let Shea hit a couple of those. She needs to hit. You see, you see Shea, because when she plays with her partner, Cynthia Dardis, she hits all of those balls yeah. in the middle. And, and even in a third of the court that Brazova's on. And Brazova is taking those because she's used to playing her side of the court. But, oh, the <laughs> duck. See how athletic Brazova is. Just stayed with that ball in her sight. Kept the ball between her and the net as she was spinning around off the screen. Talk about in the trenches, Lauren. Both teams just making smart shot selections. Not forcing it. Amy Shea's gonna line up the nick again. 
Test the screenplay of Jade Curtis. She's doing a great job hitting those block lobs. I'll tell you what, whoever wins this match is going to be mentally and physically tired tomorrow. Just long. Wow, that was some point. This. The speed, I just love the speed of play from both teams. Like, no one's going to get rushed. Totally understand the moment that they're in right now. Oh, Great return. Huge return by Brazova. She had a couple of those in between Curtis and Stuckloss. Advantage, very well. She's now swinging more freely. You know, she's using her legs and she's taking that ball on the rise. As is Game Amy Shea. I mean, it's unbelievable. Shea. That little bit spark. And they are. Shea, Brazova Shea are up 5 2 in the second set. There's just not that much in it. No. There's, there's, they're all four so consistent and so skilled. I'm going to take this moment to thank one of our national sponsors, Lauren. Uline is the leading distributor of shipping, industrial, and packaging materials to businesses throughout North America. They ship over two and a half million boxes every day, but they are so much more than a box company. More than 32,000 quality products are always in stock and ready to ship. Outstanding customer service means they're here when you need them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A week. Uline, the best selection, products, and people for an unforgettable customer experience. And again, you, now you see Brazova and Shea. Shea is about to serve. And they have a very clear game plan. Oh, at this level, you just cannot afford to throw in a bad game here and there. You know, it's just... Well, that's why that last game took a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. No. Every single point. Fifteen it's love. a little tired volley to me. She had, for, for the first time, she wasn't really in position to hit. You know, if she's not in a position... She's so good, Stoklosova, at letting the ball go. But that one she forced. Oh, nice pick up by Shea. 30 love. <laughs> <30 laughs> <over laughing. laughs> She's like, I know that play. I do that. Yeah, she's it, she's looking a little tired. Stock loss of the later part of this second set. You see Jade Curtis being a great partner and going over there. It's like, okay, come on, let's go. Watch me, watch my feet. 40-15, serving for the second set. There it is. Game and second set. All right, set. and that was a turnaround, but it felt like, s it felt like s a slow, break. methodical, precision but it came from the spark i think of brazova you know taking those They're risks right. you know coming in a little bit on the blitz and 
And then Amy Shave, you know, finding her shot and a couple of little errors, nothing, nothing too big, but just a couple of little, little errors crept into Jade Curtis and Stock Loss of it to me looks a little tired. So if I was her, I'd be getting a power bar. But let's take a break and we'll be right back in just a moment after these messages right here on the APTA Network presented by ENET Live. When it's your job to protect the world's greatest nation, it's your responsibility to solve the world's greatest challenges. This is why we search for the best and brightest, why we train for every eventuality on land and water, in the air, space, and even cyberspace. We operate in a complex world with one simple mission, win. All right, ladies, we're ready. And welcome back to the 2019 APTA National Championships. We are here in Pittsburgh. This is the round of 16, and these teams have split. Curtis Doklasova got the first set 6-1. Brazova Shea came back and got the second set 6-2. And Lauren, right, you notice that all four players have put on a layer of clothing. Yep, so the there, temperature there. is around 36 degrees. And this has been a long day for all four players, but right now it feels to me like Vicky Stock loss of her needs a little bit of an energy. She kind of third set made players a couple ready. of unforced errors Play. there, and she is starting out the third set. And it's a new ball, and be mindful now that love. this ball is not going to bounce up as high. Nice rip by Amy Shea. And that was the difference in the second set. Brazova started to take some chances and Blitz come in behind some deep lobs. And I just felt that she may start to make some of those shots and then Amy Shea started to loosen up a little bit and start swinging more freely. Stock loss of her held that well, made it look like she was going to hit a drop shot, and then just pushed it deep. Nice spot she found, Amy Shea, right between Curtis all. and Stock loss of her, and she got the reaching error. I mean, it's a small court, Lauren. You, you know, putting that ball two boards over makes a huge difference seeing the court and being able to execute nice footwork by brazova yeah that's sometimes the most important part of blitzing is being able to avoid getting hit So mentally, all four players are just completely dialed in. And 
that's the improvement in Curtis's mm -hmm. screenplay. Right, she really stayed with that ball up the side. And with Amy Shea being on the left, if she gets a low ball, she's just going to go straight into Curtis's corner as she's doing now and just waiting for the nick. And you can see the enthusiasm on Amy Shea's body language, Always. right? Always. <laughs> you can't tell her she 30. just nope. won the point or lost the point, which she conserves a lot of energy that way. She's so, she's even keel as Vicky Stock Lossifer. Was controlling the speed of her overhead, just placing it back straight to Brazova, not giving her anything to work with. Just keeping them back. That next piece of the game that Curtis needs to work on is getting some spin on her overheads. I mean, she understands the court now. Her placement and positioning have improved so much. I think if she could get some spin on that overhead, Good hold by Brazova there and found stock loss of his left hip. <coughs> she just Excuse pushed me. the ball wide. 50 and 40. This is a Brazova shave, won quite a few games in a row here. Just long. 30, 40. Oh. So the last of almost fell over and she still got that ball back. A little bit of a squash shot off the back screen there. Oh, I, Curtis really game Brazil played that Shea. well. They lead one game to love, third and final set. It's possible and a little doubt is creeping into I Curtis's was, mind. I was just going to say, she didn't yeah. have the yeah. tenacity that she had in the first set, the, the uh, purposefulness. Like, she was so deliberate yep. and just like a freight train going forward in that first set, making all those blitz moves, and then just they just saw her... Hesitate. Hesitate just a, a titch. little. Yeah. Just yeah, I felt this too. Yep. All right, Anna Brazova serving. Up one love in the third set. This is a women's round of sixteen. We're at the Fox Chapel Racket Club in Pittsburgh. Great angle there. Great camera work, guys, on that nick. Yeah. 
the, lo go the longer this match has gone on, the more relaxed Brazova well, has become. Well, what I was just going to say was love. now that they have such a concrete plan and that they're just pounding into the into the crease on the do side, it's made them relax. They know what they're doing. Mm. They don't have to think about it. And I think they've also seen enough of what Jade Curtis can do, especially love. for Anna Brazova, because that was the unknown. Neither one of them have played against each other. Mm. They haven't really seen each other play. Well, 30-15. This is really a battle of the nerves right now. Ooh. Whoops. And there's such a fine line Pretty between all. being relaxed and confident and then making that unforced error. Body, that is the tension. mind, spirit. That is the tension of paddle. You can't be too relaxed. You can't be too tight. Yeah, right. It's getting that balance. Yeah. And like these guys are... Like we said before, mentally they are all dialed in. So it's really about 40, for me, 30. fitness. So you're, when you're physically, f you know, still feeling strong, you're mentally still strong. But if you get a little bit physically fatigued, you start to make a couple of those mental errors, and that affects your confidence. You're being able to execute your plan and finish off the point and have that spark when you need it. Oh, Brazova closed the net. She saw... Game Brazova, Shea, they lead two games to love. She saw Third that final set. Jay Curtis was moving in and then Vicky went to cover her and then she just swung the ball cross court. That's great court awareness. Six games in a row. Oof. You can feel it, right? Are you counting, Lauren? That's excellent. I mean, whichever way this match goes, all four women sh should be proud of the way they're playing. It's a high quality match. It's showcasing the game in a really terrific way. Yep. And it's actually quite appropriate that this match is being played on the International Women's Day really showcasing the women. Love 15. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's caught the line. It's a little casual. Yeah, you think? <laughs> what was that? That's called standing still for your volley. Nice heads up Soklosova gave Curtis because Brazova was sneaking in behind that deep lob. Those lobs are pulling Curtis and Soklosova out of the service box, opening up the court. Oh, you cannot drive no. from back there with Stuck loss of her on the net. And she knows that. I think this is a must-win game for Curtis Stuckosova. I don't think that's going too far to say. You're not going out on a limb. I'm not going out on a limb. No. I think Curtis has got to be a little tired, too. She's had to hit so many overheads go to go back for it. Oh, what a that volley. was a huge serve, though. Yeah. 
Just high percentage shots from all four players. Curtis Tuglosser again just doing a wonderful job of not giving Rosova and Shea anything to work with. And Rosova and Shea are not driving until they get a ball that's a high percentage ball. They're just showing unbelievable discipline from the backcourt. composure 30, by Curtis there. And again, not quite the laser forehand from Shay. Right? Had a little bit of pace off of it. And the one before too. I mean she she can she's, hit that much harder. She's cut her well, oh, she's cut her error, Shay, down to, to none. I think all. in the past set she's hit an error. It's amazing. Look at Brzova, she is ready to go. Miss hit that, yeah. but it, you, you can feel that she can just sense 40, she's 30. gotta keep putting the pressure on. She's gotta keep making that spark, but Curtis is stock loss of her up 40, 30. Trying to get on the board in this third set. Both Shea and Brazova just doing a great job with their lobs. You know, they're all deep, forcing Curtis Tuck Lossover to hit all their overheads outside of the service box. Shea going for the neck. Curtis doing a good job with those block lobs Ooh. and getting the ball. Wow. Game, Curtis, Stos, Stos Lock, uh, What a hold uh, by Curtis. Stoklasova, Brzova, Shea lead two games she to one. She did a third really set. good job there of handling the pace of those overheads and just taking them as a block lob, not letting them go into the nick, but more of a function of taking away time. All right. What do you think, Lauren? I'm riveted. There's not much in it, is it? Like, who's going to blink? Well, I think that that was, there was definitely Brzova and Shea have the advantage right now. They've won so many games in a row, and they seem to have Love 15. found a winning strategy. But I think that was huge that Curtis and Stoklasova won that game, and it could certainly just turn around again. When you just saw Stoklasova blitz, yeah. right? Came in behind that shot and blitzed. 
Love 30. Got a short ball and hit it through. And they're up Love 30. Now you feel the spark of Jade Curtis again. And I think that's smart that she takes that ball as a block lob and rather than risk letting so many go in. Jade Curtis, I'm talking Love about. 40. Right. Why contend with that nick every time? Because they're getting it there. Very accurate with the overheads for Zoe and Shea. And they've got a couple of points to tie this third set up. And there it is. Two all. Game Curtis Stoklasova. Games are two all, third set. After that big game before, four quick points. And we're, we're all tied up. She challenged, Saklasova knew Brzova was blitzing and she challenged her. Nice dig. That was not an easy screen. Right, now they're just making stock loss of a hit every overhead. Ball was long. Oh. It's not usually a shot to see stock loss of a try, a rolling two-handed swinging volley. And if you do, she rolls it softly into the side screen, but that one she overhit. We're approaching the two-hour mark of this match. Well, this match has definitely lived up to its hype. Yeah. And then some. Fifteen all. And neither team is just throwing in any loose points. They're just on an even kill. Just all four are just willing to hang in there. It was the return of serve lob blitz by Brazova. again and you see Brazova when she comes in out uh, uh, with a blitz she always comes in with her backhand volley ready 
And if that ball doesn't come right to her paddle, she will, she's so disciplined about letting it go. And then you see to get the nick and the first sign of a little bit of frustration on Curtis's face. 15.30. She just doesn't want to get beaten by that touch. She knows they're going after it. They're going after her there. And so she wants to get, does not want to, you know, give them that upper hand. But great shot by Amy Shea. Fifteen thirty. And that's just footwork. 30 all. 30 all, third yep. set. A little Australian here. Ooh. 30, 40. That was a smart move by Brazova to come in behind it. It, was, it changed the look. Ooh. Deuce. Just beautiful concentration by everybody, including us. <laughs> we, we are so, I am Yay so us. in this <laughs> match, right. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Physically, I'm not tired yet either. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to get to watch this match. Just get the feeling when Stock Loss was moving the ball around like that, she's toying with you. Yeah. So annoying. But you have to stay mature and not over hit. I think that was a good decision. Advantage on Curtis. Part. Curtis's yeah. overhead yeah. was short. Great Game hands Curtis. by Curtis. She did not back down. That was, final a, set. that was a monster. Both of them, both Curtis and Stoklasova, survived some major drives to win that point. Okay, now they're on a three-game streak. And again, look at the speed of play, not so much dur uh, during the point, but it's this in between the point. All four players totally understand how to manage themselves right now. And that's really what it's all about. This deep in the third set, it's all about managing yourself so that you stay focused and aggressive, not trying to end this by going for too big a shot. It's really an internal fight. You know, they've all got the game plan. They've all trying to shut down each other's strengths and expose the weaknesses. And I gotta tell you, there's just not that many weaknesses to expose. a very complete match. Let it go. Yep. So easy to get caught up in that. But now I, I feel like Jay Curtis is fighting to be more aggressive. Right, look at that tremendous footwork. 
Stark Glossover is trying to get her a ball that she can step in and drive. There it was. Just a little quick. Yeah. Brazova jumping up and down, staying energized, managing the moment. Yeah, that alley is open again for Jay Curtis too. Nice counter volleys by Amy Shea. You know, if I was Jade Curtis right now, I maybe would think about blitzing myself. Dirty love. Just to change up the look. Doesn't, you know, lob down the line and just go. Change the look, change the rhythm. Show that you're willing to take a risk. Or maybe blitz off the return. Or do that. Change it. Yeah. 30-15. That's another classic example of Amy Shape staying in the moment, walking that ball back to Brazova. <laughs> oh, there's a volley <laughs> for you. That's a, that's a definition of a defensive volley. <laughs> what happened? Did it hit her? I don't know. 30 all. Must have, she must yep. have said it hit her. Yep. All right, two, three, 30 all. Third set, women's round of 16. Oh. Out. See again, there was not a lot of conviction on that back. 40, 30. She kind of hit it without yep. committing to it. It wasn't purposeful. Yes. Well, Brazova is challenging she, that Curtis. Was, she was baiting her. And she can, you know, she's... Brazova's got such a great volley. That is so smart of her. She took the Game risk, Brazova, Shea. fed Games Curtis the ball, all, knew that set. she was going to drive it, and then closed the net and volleyed it. Got the short lob. That is a gutsy play right there. 3-0. Jade Curtis serving. Fifteen love. The shot was there. Beautiful serve by Jay Curtis. Again, look where Brazova and Shea's lobs are, pulling both of them out of the service box, and then it aim for the neck. Oh. Curtis gets down so low on those backhands.
She's just rushing that all. just a little bit. So let it drop a little bit more coming yeah. out of the screen. Bounce, bounce, hit. Da dun, da dun, da dun. That was da dun, da dun. She <laughs> rushed it. Well, <sighs> 15.30. Whoops. <laughs> it's a little ambitious. 30 that all. Her, uh, volleyball <laughs> yeah. She got up Come, there. <laughs> coming out in her. <laughs> It was worth it. 30 all, 3 all, third set. Winner of this match will face Prop and Spiz, who are, I'm sure, watching. That was a gimme volley for someone of Ana Brzova's 40, abilities. 30. So this is the last match of the night. Hanish van Starenberg will face Demonico Gavia tomorrow. In the quarterfinals, Cruz Nicolescu will face Lemry Roybuck. Well, yes. Andreka Zabori will play Baron Anika. So we are in for a huge day tomorrow with the women's quarterfinal. And of course, we'll also be covering the men's draw. Okay, Deuce. Advantage, Curtis, Spit Lassaba. Mm. is hitting her backhand well taking it early and she's rolling it and obviously picking the the right hip back to deuce brazova should blitz on this return Advantage for Zova Shea. No. And you could feel that. Yeah. I mean, that was that's Game a moment. They lead four games to three. Third and final set. Brazova Shea. Take the lead, 4-3, the third set. I will serve for a 5-3 lead. And this is the point in the match where serving, you know, gets a little dicey. The advantage is on the receiver. Curtis has to steady herself here. Yeah, she's, she's been holding up well. She missed a few serves and a few volleys that game, and she's just got to have a short memory and forget about it. And she's got such a supportive yes. partner and such, not only the support, but just Stock Loss of his demeanor is there's just no 
pressure, no stress. It's just let it go. And she'll want to start strongly in this game. Time. Yep. There's a lot of chatting there. And the momentum is slightly to Brazova Shea. Nice hold. Mm. Oof, such touch. Love 15. It's a drop shot from shoulder height. Drop shot angle. She's Curtis is falling backwards when she was hitting that. You just kind of get the feeling that she doesn't want the ball like she did early in that first set. She's kind of lobbing down the line, <coughs> looking to get them to hit over to Vicky. And she's got to believe right now. Give me the ball. It's got to have that little voice inside. Has to be a big voice. She needs to pick her spot. 30, she 15. needs to, to get a spot on the court and just keep going after it so she'll get her confidence back that she's moving forward. This is the moment in the match when you don't want to let court, right? You don't want to nick, you don't want to let court. All right, that's going to help her. Well played by Brazova and Shea. 40, I mean, 15. they've got a game plan. Mm -hmm. They can see it. They can feel it. But Brazova had the sense there. She could have gone straight back at Curtis, and she put it back over to Stock Lossifer and then went back in. And it's just taken Curtis a little bit out of her yep. offensive mindset. And she's hesitating. Yep. So on a couple of big points, we've seen she's had the shot, but she hasn't really trusted it. And this, again, this is about the internal balance of, of keeping your foot on the pedal going forward, but not over swinging to get that spark back. Little casual lunge volley by Stock Lossifer. <laughs> 40 30. And just like that, it's like. Still game point for 5 3. Stick volley Game winner. Is over, Shea. They lead five games to three, third and final set. Just Brazova, Shea have just been so solid. They've been good. They've been really, good. really good. <laughs> yeah. A really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have.
impressive for a pickup team, don't you think? <laughs> yep. I mean, look, they both know how to play. They've both been in a lot of finals. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive timing to be able to jump into it like that. <laughs> 15 love. Anna's probably happy she can still get both feet off the ground at this point <laughs> of the laughing. day. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that was pretty good movement for this point. Curtis did a good job there on that volley coming right out. Nice deep lobs again by Brasova. High and deep. So Stoklosifer and Curtis don't really have that finishing overhead. You know, they, they don't go after the nick as much as Amy Shea, and they don't have a lot of big spin rolls. So they they're really relying on their placement, which is what you want to do, and forcing Brazova and Shea to swing in a ball that they shouldn't, and they have not broken down. They've stayed very disciplined and only taken a drive. <laughs> Brazova's having fun now. A lot more fun than she will if she has to serve out this match. She'd like to win it right here. Wow. And there you see Stock loss of her. It hit her. It hit the butt of her paddle is what she's pointing That's to. That's her call. I can't tell. If no. No. She it definitely did not hit the face of the paddle, but. Yeah, but the handle is good. As long as it doesn't hit your hand. I don't. She's saying she's, I, th yeah, I think she saying, pointed. But, but that she hit it with the base of the paddle? Who cares? That's 30 love. If you replay the point, I'd have to go read the book. I think she thinks it hit one of there. No, I think Brazova thought it hit oh, Vicky, oh. and Vicky is, is saying no. It hit, it oh, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Okay. So the so call is, is it's stuck loss of his decision. Mm -hmm. It's her it call. We're sad. I understand. And, you know, I'm just saying there was no end to the point. Every, every ball was, was playable. Okay, but it's yeah, stuck. It Loss of call. call. It is her call. If, yeah. if, if it becomes a matter of uh, your honesty against their, their supposition, then it's 40 love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I the right call. Vicky, yeah. I trust you. That and I think if I read the, read the rule book, it would be that it's your point. Yep. No, I 100% agree with 40 love. Good call. It's over, Curtis, moving Zola. sideways when you need to go in Zola on a 45-degree angle. Five games to four, third set. Whew. And <laughs> that was a little bit of excitement to get your, your heart rate up. Well, okay. can Anna use this? Can Brazova use this irritation and anger now to, for, for the good? Or is it going to right. bother her and her affect the game right. poorly? And has it given the spark back to Curtis yeah. Doglosova to say, you know what, we're digging in even deeper now. We'll find Bra out. Brazova is serving for the match.
Well done, Jade Curtis. That's going to make Jade Curtis feel Love really 15. good. She hasn't come out on the winning end of one of those rallies in a while. And she's getting energized from the ground up. You see her foot. Whoa! I'm not sure about that. No, ball. I don't think it was going out. <laughs> That one went out. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Curtis, it's easy, easy to say from here, but I'd like to see her hit this return. She's not committing to hitting right. the return, not putting pressure on Brazova coming in. Well, she has yeah. backed off a little bit, and that call has given her a spot. It's really, it's about the self-belief. It's just the even kill of Vicky Stock Lossifer allows Jade Curtis to shine and allows her to go off the boil a little bit. And it's okay, they're still in the match. That was not an easy no. screen. And you see Jay Curtis block lobbing those overheads from Amy Shea, not letting them get into the nick. And I just get the feeling that she's looking again to attack. Oh! Wow, what a shot. Another just tremendous point. Oh, close. Oh. Fifteen forty. Tell you what, those points on 40 Love always come back to haunt you. Yeah, Curtis just lost a little bit of patience there. And again, it was that look. It wasn't a definite placement of where she wanted to put that ball. Forcing Brazova and Shay to hit a lot of overheads. Change of pace by Brazova there. 40. Went, hit the smacker right at Jade Curtis. She couldn't get out of her own way. Here's a point to get back to Deuce.
It's a good look it at that one. Yeah. Yep. She's just, again, she's on that edge of needing to hit, needing to be deliberate, not backing down. And from 40, love. Love 40. Deuce. Curtis has got to get that lob up higher and yeah. deeper. Well, match point. Advantage for Zova, Shay. Wow, what an epic battle. Boy, this is not where. Oh, game set wow. Match game they set match. One six. Six two. Reserve six, Shea. Six four. Six four in the third. Stock Lossifer and Curtis. Whoa, what a fabulous match, huh? I mean, they're going to be disappointed, but full display. So that sets up our quarterfinals for tomorrow. Hanish Van Starenberg, Delmonico Gebbia, Cruz Nicolescu will play Lemry uh, Roybuck, Prop and Schmitz will play so Brazova Shea, Andrekova Zaboria will play Baron and Anika, and Lauren, are you speechless? I'm speechless. Yeah, I mean, it, that was really even more impressive and exciting than what we had anticipated and talked about and I think everybody when they we saw the draw come out just gasp because we knew that it would be tremendous shot making and you know just the dynamics and the whole we hadn't seen this match up ever so we didn't really know what we were going to see and that was a treat there's a Mark uh, Fischel helping Mark Bliss out of the, the chair. <laughs> I mean, I hope there you all can night. move. <laughs> all right. So we hope you enjoyed the broadcast today. We will be back tomorrow at 8.30 and streaming all day, all the way through to the men's quarterfinals. And that is a wrap delivered by Uline. <laughs>